That's my family. No, oh, this was a special moment. Got her little glasses on. <laughs> That's my crew. There we are, just acting normal. Both of my kids and my husband. I always uh, suspected I would be a family man. I just wasn't quite sure of how that was going to play itself out. And then I, I met a bloke who uh, wanted kids as well. We kept trying to have babies the natural way and that wasn't working. So we did the surrogacy thing, which was awesome. And we tried for twins and we got twins. They're the most complicated things I've ever had to deal with. And they have taught me more than a new one could need to learn. I really appreciate that my parents talked to us like regular people and not didn't talk down to us as little kids. So I was able to interact with adults when I was younger in a way that didn't that was kind of level playing field. So we try and talk to our kids the same way. I think kids deserve a lot of respect. Even though they're younger and they're more volatile, they still have lots of innate intuition. So they can sense when something's off and they can sense when some, something's complicated and I don't think they're quite as simple as uh, a lot of adults make them out to be. So I try and treat our kids with respect and yell at them when they don't do this. She bald. <laughs> I remember I was, I was dying for her to get some hair. No, this was a special moment. Got her little glasses on. We, uh, I think we were just bored. I think this was during quarantine. It was a beautiful day, so we went outside and hung out by the lake, ate some Doritos. I think we were only out there for 45 minutes, but it was just a good time to get outside because that's when everything was shut down. So it was just great to be out there with them, you know, really feeling like a dad with the with the picnic blanket and everything. I would just tell myself to, to hold on to them and to never let go. Honestly, you know, I thought that I would be there for her, but uh, she's always there for me if I'm having a bad day. And I see her, you know, I just can't help but smile, uh, especially if I hold her. I want her to grow up in a good world and basically just give her everything I have to offer. <laughs> That's my crew. There we are, just acting normal. When you're, when you're younger, you think about yourself quite a bit. And your thinking doesn't really extend, at least mine didn't really extend too far beyond my own needs. Um, but then you have kids, and especially daughters, and you start looking at the world from a whole different perspective, and things that you never thought about before. My favorite thing about my kids is just how they give you license to just be crazy, and have fun, and really, and be as weird as I felt as a kid, but never felt I had permission to be. That's Chloe, that's my little one. She hugs and loves everybody. Well, my, my daughter's on the spectrum of autism. When I take people to, you know, oh, she's on the spectrum. And people see her and say, oh, well, she's normal. I'm like, yeah, well, to you on the outside, you're looking, but when you're asking her certain things or you're seeing certain things, you'll see there's certain quirks or certain tics. And then again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a different way that they learn. Finding out the right connections on honestly, on, on, on breaking points to unlock how they understand or where it connects. And no one seems to honestly know 100% the formula or what that is about. There's so many different things and I'm not an expert on it. She's, she's taught me so much on, on how to think outside the box, how to not be so judgmental on things. And also how to, you know, really, really take your time and think things through. This is the best part of life right here. This is the whole family, actually minus our dog, unfortunately, but our daughter Drew, who was about a year and a half in this photo. And that was when we did our pregnancy uh, announcement photo shoot for our second kid, who we just found out is a little baby boy, so. We just got back from the doctor, and I'm no longer pregnant. Somehow lost the pregnancy already. Yeah, that, that miscarriage was wild. You probably will not and may never understand the emotions uh, that come with, you know, a, a type of loss like that. You know, there's like a, there's sadness and grief, but there's also guilt. So I think just having patience um, with your partner through that and just being there holding their hand, you don't even have to really say anything. Those things are what helped Sean and I make it through that. I've learned so much just in my year and a half of being a father. 
and it's the best thing ever. It also is the most challenging thing ever, but I just feel like it's more fulfilling to serve someone else, whether that's your wife or your kid, than do your own thing. And it's taken me a while to realize that, but that's, that's what I've, I've learned the most.